So why are you volunteering? Oh, gosh. Should I tell you the real story behind how I became a volunteer? Yeah. Is it part many, many years back in the day, many years ago, in an artsy, craftsy phase, a friend and I thought it would be really neat to make our own potpourri. So I looked up a recipe, and you needed something like two gallons of rose petals. And like, where are you going to get rose petals, but possibly in a rose garden? So we said, let's see if we could maybe weed or work for rose petals. So we came over. Uh, they didn't really want us to pick the petals or whatever, but we did help out. And at that time, it was a nice volunteer thing, because you could come and go and just help weed the beds and everything. And over time, I just became really official. Hi. Hi. Is there a map or something? Yeah, sure. Um, I've got a few uh, right here. It'll be a map of what's happening. Most things are happening. Yeah, where'd you get that crazy shirt? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I, I was looking for the rock garden. Oh, OK. Um, what you need to do is kind of keep going and then take a left uh, to, uh, through the perennial bed. And the rock garden's in the back. Good. Listen, it's for sale. There's a price. <laughs> I'll pay any price. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. So, anyway, so uh, I started coming on Saturdays and Sundays, and that was maybe about maybe eight, nine years ago. And since then, I've uh, helped out when we've had plant sales and other stuff. Uh, I'm a resident of Hartford. Uh, I don't have a large uh, garden space and uh, a lot of shade now. And I thought this later. was part of your parole. No, not me. And it, it's fun. As I said, there's always something going on, especially in the summer. You have the weddings. I think we had a gospel fest. Later on, I believe it's, I forgot the name of the studio, the yoga group, or the people who make yoga clothing that they, they just moved into the Bennett card shop space. Right. They had a yoga class. Like you had over like 100, 200 people. And when you have that big ohm, it's really, really cool. And they also uh, do the uh, race, a red dress race through here. So there's always something going on. And uh, I think it's just an easy way. You don't need too many skills to weed. And the Rosarian Marcy uh, is really a fantastic person. So. Uh, I think there's a lot of energy and people feed off each other. So that's a lot of fun. You mean there's a lot of cannibalism around here? <laughs> no, not that I know of. Nobody, it hasn't been a, a people eat people world. You here. said that they feed off of each other. Oh, well, yes. Uh, the energy, feed off the energy. Do you have any teenagers that volunteer? Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, in terms of like parole, more and more junior high as well as high schools as well as things like Boy Scout troops and Girl Scout troops have community service days or efforts and uh, as part of the volunteers they do have uh, young people coming by. The other thing is there are a few families who live right around here and as the kids get to be a little older uh, they join mom and dad and uh, help out and stuff which is great. We also have a lot of support from uh, different organizations. I work for ING, and with my company, the way they support volunteer efforts outside work is that if you put in 50 or more hours, the company gives that organization a $500 grant. Mm -hmm. And last year, I was able to get $500 for the park, so which was cool. And then you have the days of caring that many companies do, and people will come in as a group you can tell the groups because they have the matching t-shirts and, uh, and they'll help out. Uh, things like parks and anything with the arts are getting short shrift with budget cuts and the economy. And so really, so much really depends on volunteers. And I think everybody has an opportunity to do find an event or people or a cause that means a lot to them and be able to help contribute. Right. So. so what are you going to have for dinner tonight? Uh, we're going to do apple sausage with uh, peppers and ravioli, spinach cheese ravioli. I don't know Irish people eat ravioli. <laughs> no, I
And I'm not Irish. I'm uh, I'm actually Latvian. So yeah, find Latvia on the map. That's next to uh, like Estonia and Lithuania, near Sweden, Russia. It's a route to east, right? Oh, could be, yeah. <laughs> they have a Latvian Lutheran church in Wyndham. <laughs> Can you tell us an old Latvian lullaby? No, I can't. The only thing I remember when I started school, because my parents had such a trauma, uh, were, had a traumatic experience during World War II, uh, they chose to choose uh, only to speak English. And as soon as I started school, what foreign languages, including Latvian, that I knew was lost. And the only phrase I remember, and I don't even know if I remember it correctly, is katradala, which allegedly means, what are you doing? So obviously I was asked that frequently, <laughs> but I, that could be false memory. <laughs> You never spoke Latvian? No. no. Only before I started school I did, but I don't. I have no memory of it. What grade are you in now? Oh, gosh. Well, I finished my master's, uh, A1 master's a few years ago. We'll see what's next. I do work the day shift, and didn't Bob Dylan say 20 years of schooling and they put you on the day shift? Well, I'm on the day shift, so. <laughs> what do you do at IMG? Um, I'm a, what's known as a compliance consultant. What that means is that um, I kind of review regulations, either federal or state, as they would apply to retirement income plans, like mm -hmm. 401ks, mm -hmm. 403bs, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then when we have a new retirement plan coming in-house, we work together with a group to make sure everything's copacetic. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I used to work for the Hartford. Oh, gosh. I was in uh, Group Life and Health Insurance underwriting before they sold that off. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, years ago I did some anyway. consulting over uh, in the group division. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was doing some reconciliations of... Mm -hmm. um, um, I think there are claim accounts um, uh, and uh, clearing checks and stuff. Uh -huh. I had worked with uh, Mass Mutual, Connecticut Mutual, and Mass Mutual. I got laid off in 2003, and then landed up doing some uh, consulting at the Hartford until I you know, landed someplace. Yeah, it was a shock about uh, what they just did with yes. the uh, individual Certainly stuff was. and that uh, company in Texas. That yeah. wasn't. My I don't think anybody saw that coming. <laughs> yeah, our office is out at Day Hill Road, and the Hartford has mm -hmm. something out there. Yep. They yeah, do. I'm not yeah, sure I how many there for people. a while before they built the uh, building in Simsbury on Route 10. Yeah. Which was this beautiful building. Yeah, they're not an easy place to get to in Simsbury. There's no, no. it's not like it's right off the highway no. or anything. But I lived in Avon at the time, so it was hop, skipping a jump for me. Yeah, years ago they had a DJ, I think on DRC, who on April Fools was talking about how the volcano on Avon Mountain finally had yeah. erupted after all these years. And yeah. you can't imagine how many people, similar to the old Orson um, Wells thing of believing it, calling, can I go across the mountain, can I yeah. do something? <laughs> Yeah, one of the guys that uh, worked with Mark Robinson was uh, I, uh, wrote a book about that crash when the truck came down, Avon Mountain. He was one of the uh, people uh, waiting to go up the hill. Wow. Um, and uh, I think he remembers a crash, but then woke up in the hospital. So what do you want to tell all your fans? All my fans, come on down to Elizabeth Park. I'll actually support all the parks in Hartford because people don't realize that we have what's known as a kind of a, an emerald necklace because the whole city of Hartford has various parks. You have Keeney Park, you have River, Riverfront, Riverside, uh, you have the golf courses both in Keeney and Goodwood Park, which is where I here where I live, and of course Bushnell Park downtown, where people kind of hang out and listen to music. 
I guess the jazz concerts will start in a few weeks. I'll do it behind the state capitol. Can we come to your house for cocktails? No. No, no cocktails at my house. You're mean. I, I know, but I don't drink, so <laughs> yeah, unless it's BYO. My, hus my husband has a lot of health issues, and so. Um, but you could come by for uh, some sparkling lemonade or herb tea or something unfortunately healthy for you. <laughs> well, let's wrap up this camera and we're coming over. <laughs> okay, take care or whatever. God bless you.